Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a calm down jar. This is a fun project to do with kids and the finishing product is a great tool to help kids learn how to better tolerate or manage uncomfortable emotions. To start off, you can use either corn syrup or you can use glycerin. Both are available at Amazon or Walmart. Glitter and different types of assorted food coloring. So first you're gonna to wanna to grab a mixing bowl and then you're gonna be pouring the glycerin or corn syrup into about a half cup. Then you're gonna pour that half cup into the mixing bowl. You kinda of wanna scoop some of it out to make sure you get all of it in there. Then after that, you're gonna take a water bottle. You can use any kind of water bottle, I like Voss water is a, is a great one to use. You can pour it, the rest of the water into the mixing bowl. I usually fill it up about a half cup in the bottle. And then you're gonna mix all of the ingredients together, the glycerin and uh, the water. You wanna make sure that you can't see any of the glycerin, that it's mixed really well. So after it's mixed pretty good, you want to get a funnel. You don't have to, but I think it's less messy if you get that. And you're going to pour the glycerin and water mixture into the bottle. So after you do that, you're going to want to take a about a tablespoon and fill it with glitter. You can use one to two tablespoons full of glitter. I think the one tablespoon works the best, so that's why I used it. And put all different types of glitter in there just to make it a little bit more fun and colorful. Then you're gonna use food coloring, about one to two drops. I used one for this. I find blue works really well. Also purple is a really nice color and you can mix different food colorings too. So after that, you're gonna, want a, you're gonna want to put your tablespoon of glitter into the bottle. And then you're gonna wanna shake it up. You can start to see that it's coming together pretty nicely. So if you notice, there's going to be some glitter that might get stuck to the top of the bottle. So what I like to do is I like to pour some dish soap into the bottle, about two to three drops, and that will actually make the rest of the glitter uh, go down in the bottle. And there's your finishing product. If you notice your child is feeling upset, anxious, or uncomfortable, you can have them grab the calm down jar, shake it up, and imagine that the glitter represents all of the different feelings they have inside. If you get them to name them out loud, that can be powerful. Just naming our emotions can greatly reduce their intensity. Tell them that it's okay to have strong feelings, but that we can calm those thoughts and our bodies as well. One way to do this is to let your thoughts settle like glitter in the jar. As the jar is spinning, set it on a surface and calmly watch with your child until the glitter and your minds are all settled down. You can also have them notice all the different colors and types of glitter that are swirling vibrantly around the bottle. Have them explore all the ways they can shake up the jar to make different patterns in the water. They can even count how long it takes for the glitter to settle to the bottom of the jar. This activity engages their senses while helping them focus on the present, which can greatly reduce stress and can be a relaxing distraction. 